Passport 2920BH here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is Keystone's number one selling ultralight. This is the best selling lightweight trailer uh, between the twenty dollars to $25,000 mark. Question is why? Why are so many people gravitating toward Passport when there are plenty of other options out there? Um, we carry quite a few different products. We usually have at least 300 trailers in stock here, even in the winter time. And in Michigan, there's not a lot of other dealers that can boast that. Um, you know, quality, reliability, I think those are the two biggest factors. At least those are the two biggest factors that, um, as, a, as a dealer, I like. When our customers spend their thousands of dollars, we like knowing that uh, it's with a product that uh, will back up that uh, price tag. You know, it actually has uh, some s substance and something of worth. When these come in, they're just almost always defect free. They leave like that, they stay like that. This product is something that stays in your driveway and doesn't tend to come back with any high level of warranty claims and uh, really nothing serious in, in the event that it has anything. Um, cable slide systems are a part of that. Uh, they are exceptionally lightweight. It is one of the reasons this is the lightest of my lightweight products. Um, they are also really cool in that they do not need any slide lock bars. They're self-locking. Uh, standard outside shower is a really cool feature. Uh, for uh, first timers, if you're shopping around, this is probably something you're going to overlook and not think too much about. But as a camper, I can tell you that uh, you know when you your kid comes up to you and they need you know something rinsed off or they've been in the lake and you want to hose the lake smell off of them before they you know walk through your trailer and sit on your dinette cushions. If you don't have that outside shower, you have to unhook your water line. You have to hose down the kids, hook the water line back up, and it's a pain. It's nice to just not have to worry about that. Little things here, like little bunkhouse storage garage, is also another cool feature. I mean, a lot of people are going to say, oh, it gives the kids an easy way in and out. That's sort of a fringe benefit. The, the, the primary purpose here is you see this little handle. This is on an easy lift strut. A lot of manufacturers that offer this feature don't have the strut to help you uh, keep that door up. You have to, you know, wrestle it and, uh, you know, like clip it open with your head. Now, you notice they position the light for the bunkhouse such that that uh, little uh, bed that clips up and down doesn't clip that light. So you can uh, keep this illuminated and use it just like a giant storage area. And this is where you're going to put things like um, your tripods, your fire pit uh, accessories, lawn chairs, any of that stuff. That's where you're going to put a lot of your big stuff. Um, oversized downspouts are a nice thing. They're more, more for cosmetics. Uh, rubber roofing on campers promotes the growth of black algae. And when it rains, that algae just washes off the trailer. It's harmless, it's only cosmetic, but that's where the black streaks come from. Uh, oversized downspouts give you a, a better chance of that uh, black algae avoiding the trailer entirely. A standard um, outdoor kitchen is also a slick feature. What's cool about this one is that they made it a little bit lower in height so that you keep all four bunks. Most floor plans laid out like this with an outdoor kitchen, you have to sacrifice one of the bunks. You don't have to do that in a passport. Uh, you notice that you have retractable countertops, and you have those on both sides of the kitchen. You also have my favorite part of any outdoor kitchen, which I lovingly refer to as Dad's Medicine Cabinet. Um, growing up with my grandparents, they always had that green aluminum Coleman cooler right here by the back bumper. So this really speaks to me. This is something that takes me back to my early days of camping. I like having a, an easy way to keep a cold drink outside. And that's one of the primary reasons, especially kids are in and out of the camper, is just to get something to drink. Now they don't have to track dirt through your whole trailer. Again, you see that we do have retractable countertops on both sides here. So you do have a very good amount of functional space. Um, the uh, sink out here, this little twisty hose connects on there. And it is a, a normal sink, hot and cold water. Um, and this is just kind of, you know, remember you're camping, you just fill that up, dump it out, you're good to go. Um, a black tank flush system is something that uh, a lot of people aren't aware of how nice that is. When you're all done camping, when you empty out all your tanks, you can hook your fresh water line up right there and it, it just blasts a huge torrent of water through all of your holding tanks, or pardon me, through your black tank and uh, keeps that uh, cleansed and whatnot. And a standard feature on Passport Grand Touring models, fully enclosed, insulated, forced air, heated underbelly. 
and I mentioned forced air heating because there's a difference between that and radiant heat. Also, little things like this. They put a little strut on the door so that if the door ever flips open because of the wind, it's not going to smash your awning arm because that's a $2,000 repair bill that nobody wants to have to deal with. Looks like the dry weight of this camper. Amazing. We've got a 29 foot floor plan with a big super slide and the dry weight is only 5,400 pounds. That is exceptional. You are in half ton towable dreamland at that point. And uh, if you've got a bigger SUV, it's perfect as well. Quick uh, disclaimer, I always like to put out there, we sell a ton of these. This is a great selling floor plan from a great selling brand. The um, fabric schemes that you're looking at here might be different on the trailer you're taking home. I try to make the pictures match your trailer. This video is here just to kind of tell you about the passport. So if pictures and video aren't the same, you know why. Um, this is a, uh, a sort of slightly darker but kind of neutral um, fabric touch. Uh, some uh, floor plans have a leatherette type skin to them. Um, give us a call, find out which one you're looking for, and we can see what we have here. Now, a uh, sofa will jackknife down into a sleeper, but this is where, if you're going to use an extra sleeping space, this is probably it, because your dinette can fold down into a seven-foot bed, and you can actually sleep one or two people there if you need to. Now, notice these big, giant windows on these passports. That's one of the things I really like about them is the big windows. Um, a lot of lightweights are exceptionally short inside. That's how they keep the weight down. Notice that on the passport, even though I'm 6'3", I have plenty of headroom up here. My head is not in danger of hitting light fixtures whatsoever. Um, you also have bigger cabinetry with higher quality construction. And that's one of the things I really enjoy about passports is they really at the factory do a lot to eliminate the chance for human error. Um, just to give you an idea of how big that is, how big I'm talking. Everybody's seen one of these. It's about the size of a dinner plate, right? It's actually a little bit bigger than most dinner plates so that the plate doesn't fall off the side of it. Look at how big that is. It's absolutely huge. Um, often, but not always, we like to upgrade our air conditioners on these to a 15K instead of a 13.5. Um, in English, it means just a little more powerful air conditioner. Again, we do it uh, quite often, but not every single time. Um, storage in here is excellent. Bunkhouse campers generally have terrible storage, uh, or, or at least in terms of total quantity. But, uh, I mean, notice in here, just in this little kitchen space, overhead cabinets, drawers, and you actually have a place to put a garbage can. You can put a wastebasket in here. That is, uh, that's not a small thing I mentioned. Look through a lot of campers. You have nowhere to put a wastebasket. And uh, though I don't think that should be a deal breaker factor, it is nice having something like that there. Um, cool, uh, handy little feature here. You see these little fins that open and close? This is, uh, uh, what this will do is, when you first get to your campsite, if the kids are hot, like today, you can't tell from this video, but it's really humid here. It's super sticky and gross. <laughs> Turn on the air conditioner, open these fins like this, it drops all the cold air right here in the living room. Cool off your living space first. After that's done, flip that shut and it'll start pumping cold air through to your, your bathroom, your uh, rear bunkhouse, your front master bed. That's really nice. Uh, you know, it can get the kids cooled down, settled down, and just chilled out while mom and dad are trying to get the campsite set up. Um, they put a little bit bigger stool here in a passport. And notice that we have no carpet except for right in front of the slide. You have to have a little bit of carpet in front of the slide for it to glide. Otherwise, it's all uh, laminate top. So you can easily sweep this thing out and keep it clean. Also notice that with the shelf here, they double the uh, total um, space that you have usable functional here. And uh, a lot of manufacturers and lightweights don't give you a medicine cabinet. Again, that's one of those things that especially a first timer is going to be like, big deal. It's not that big of a deal. When you go camping, you find out it kind of is because if you don't have a medicine cabinet, toothbrush, toothpaste, shavers, every single thing that you have is on the countertop. And with a medicine cabinet, it gets it out of the way. <coughs> Pardon me. Holy cow. Notice that you do have a skylight above the shower. A lot of times, uh, lightweight manufacturers like to just take this uh, vent right here and put that above the shower and kind of cheat. You get both with the passport. And notice, 
you also get this really nice shower wall backer. If you don't have this paneling, if you only have normal wall boards, all the water that sprays off you and reflects off your body while you're showering, over time will begin to, to soak and water damage your walls. You can have interior water damage on your camper without having a leak. Now this is a big deal right here. Again, storage in bunkhouses is always at a premium. So they give you a, uh, a very flexible cabinet space. Right now it's set up just like a big cabinetry uh, uh, or a pantry or anything like that. However, you notice know, so that hanging bar? You can easily remove one of these shelves, two of these shelves, whatever you need and turn this either into a wardrobe or just a big tall closet. Back here in the bunk space again, because this does have the smaller outdoor kitchen, we keep all four bunks, but notice you're getting windows for every single bunk. Not every manufacturer, not every floor plan is going to do that. That's a nice thing to get more cross ventilation, more light, and again, more storage with a passport. Um, remember that uh, over here, this is your bunkhouse little storage garage, but again, you can simply push that down, kind of convert it. It's, uh, <laughs> oh, this will expose me as the nerd that I am, but it's, I've always kind of felt a passport is like a transformer. There's more than meets the eye with them. You know, they're, they're very nice to look at, but the more you dig into them, the more impressive they get. Um, 32 inch flat screen TV standard. And that's a nice thing over the 2014s. The 14s had a little 19 inch that you couldn't really see. Passport said, not a problem. We're going to go as big as we possibly can with this entertainment center. Um, your stereo is a standard all-in-one AM, FM, CD, DVD, and Bluetooth enabled unit. Wirelessly play your Pandora, your music, your whatever right off of your camper stereo. And you do have a handy uh, centrally located uh, control panel here. What I do like is that these switches are backlit. If there's power onto this unit, when you flip that on, it'll glow so you can see it. Uh, you know, power awning is a nice feature on this too. Uh, you just push a button, awning comes in and out in about 30 seconds. You don't have to wrestle with the manual awning. Really nice. Imagine this. You wake up in the middle of the night, there's a storm brewing in Michigan. Can you believe that? And, uh, you know, the weatherman didn't get it right. Well, instead of going out there in your PJs, uh, assuming you're wearing PJs, uh, you don't, you can stay right in your camper where it's dry, push the button, roll your awning in, go back to bed. It takes about 30 seconds. This is also a huge deal to talk about, and it's not as impressive in a video as when you lay on it, but this is a full 80 inch true queen bed, not a camper queen. So many travel trailers, especially lightweights to try to save weight and money, go to a 74, 76 inch bed. A tall guy like me, my feet hang off the bed in a short camper bed but I can use this one like normal. Now, I also like to point out that on each side of the bed, you have power outlets and bed stands. So lights, fans, um, CPAP, breathing machines. You have a his and a hers setup so that everyone can be comfortable at night. Give us a call, learn even more. Um, see what we can do for you here at Hayless. We're very aggressive on trades. We, we're, uh, we have an outstanding finance department, uh, award-winning service department, 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Happy camping.